Farhan, fantastic having you on the Sail Guru show today. Hi, thank you very much. Okay, great. Now, first question right out off the block is, you took really long to become a brand ambassador for a tech brand. Why do you take so long? Well, um, I, I think, uh, firstly, the synergy with uh, who you are and what the brand stands for, I think, has to, has to match. So, to me, Index is um, a contemporary, youth-oriented, um, forward-thinking, progressive brand. And I felt that um, what my work stands for and how I like to think about my films, my work, uh, my life, um, I feel that the synergy with this brand was very good. So, I felt that we must go ahead and do this thing together. Okay, so you took your time, but now, of course, the question that comes out is, in all your movies and everything else, you seem to be projecting a very techie image. But are you a techie? Because we've never really seen you do something overly tech. Um, I mean, yeah, all of us are, I think, um, on some level, because we also interact so much with technology every single day with what we do. You know, so we are always trying our best to stay a little bit ahead of what's going on, because being in an audiovisual uh, medium um, as, as what we do for, for a living. It's always nice to have technology at, um, at your fingertips. Absolutely right. Technology touches every part of our life every single day. Completely agree with you on that one. Okay, let's move on now. This is the phone you launched. You've already seen what we think about it. This is, of course, the Aqua i5. What do you think about it? What's the big deal in this phone different from all others? Well, I think, firstly, to start off with, I think the, the, the big fact on it, I, I would say, apart from the fact that it's, it's really state-of-the-art technology, uh, is its affo affordability as well. I think that's a, that's a very, very big plus. Um, because we, more often than not, um, when you travel around and you see people who are having to live with slightly lesser technology because they cannot afford to buy, uh, afford to buy more. And I think this phone really bridges that gap. Okay, Farhan, time to have some fun with you. So, you know, you seem to be doing so much. You sing kind of dance, you're also an actor, you also direct, even doing Milka Singh now and growing your hair out. So if God came down to earth and said, Farhan, you're doing too much. My son, you're too tired now. You can only do one thing and give up on all others. What would you give up and what would you continue doing? Well, firstly, I'd request God to start thinking about something else. You know, I think he has many other things on his plate that he should be worried about. Um, or she should be. I'm, I'm going to uh, try and continue doing all these things. I mean, they all are uh, facets of who I am. They are things that I enjoy doing tremendously. So I, I don't have any pressing need to give up on any of them. So a similarity between, let's say, this phone that you launched and you? Well, we're both extremely good looking, as you can see. Well, no. Well, at least the phone is, you know. So, <laughs> so um, no, I, I think I would like to say, I mean, if at all, um, it's very weird to talk about yourself you know, in, in this, this kind of thing. But I would, I would hope, um, as the phone is, that I am also extremely reliable. You do know, Farhan, right in the beginning, I said the one thing that I'm not too impressed on this phone are its looks. And you said that's what the similarity is. You and the phone look alike. Okay, that's just you. And I'm very happy you said that. Moving on, my favorite island question. So you're going to be marooned on an island. You have a choice. You can take a person or you can take a gadget. What would you take and why? Well, I'd like to take an inflatable life raft with me if I ever get marooned on an island so I could get off. But um, I mean, I guess, yeah, the, the only thing you'd really want to do is if you are marooned on an island, you'd want to reach out to the outside world and hopefully get them to come and find you. So it would have to be some kind of communication device. So I think, yes, it would be my phone. That would be most prudent. All right, but you do realize that most islands where you're marooned on, you will not have any cellular network. So maybe that raft would have been better. Farhan, as always, it's a complete delight and pleasure talking to you. I hope we see you in Cell Guru very, very soon again. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Bye.